Thousands of people demonstrated on June 29th outside Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda's official residence. This protest, almost uncommon in Japan, was organized through the Internet. It came two days after the shareholders of Japan's private electricity utilities voted to continue with the operation of nuclear power stations. Rather than not doing anything, I wanted to come here and make my voice heard. These decisions taken by the utility shareholders did not meet with universal approval. Members of the general public, such as these protesters, and some local governments, including those of Tokyo and Osaka, who are major stakeholders in these utilities, criticized the move. I came here because the government only talks about the economic reasons for restarting the reactors, and that's not right. If we don't do anything, they will restart more. We need to focus on reducing our dependency on nuclear power. However, some are in favor of nuclear power. These people are not demonstrating, and they support the shareholders' decision.
Hello guys, here's Henry. I'm reflecting on the nuclear crisis here. This is because I'm living 100 kilometers north from Fukushima uh, Daiichi nuclear power plant. And today uh, is just unbelievable day. Yesterday we had a massive, massive protest in front of uh, Premier Minister Noda's office. There was over 100,000 of people and the people coming and going. So the count is difficult to say, must be even over 150 or 200,000 people in the news nothing there was very short news on the Miyagi TV very short this was a zero news and uh, the news was not even one minute they don't say nothing about the size and uh, they just try to mild up why the people protesting but there was no other news. Can you believe this? Now is 12 o'clock afternoon. Uh, so we have uh, almost 24 hours passed, you know, after the uh, big demonstration begin. And yet we don't have no news here in Japan about the massive demonstration. Can you believe this? Okay, so let's try to watch uh, foreigner news online. Uh, Japan Times is nothing. Mainichi Daily News, nothing. The NHK World, they have very short news. But again, there is nothing mentioned about the size. They pick up two people's com comments from the Twitter, and that's it. You know, they're milding up the situation. The people were there, they were angry. You can find these uh, videos from this protest on online, on YouTube. I'm definitely sure, you know, there were hundreds and even thousands of people taking videos and uh, pictures. So you can find it online. So the media completely failing us. And uh, I don't have any words for this. This is outrageous. This is not normal, what is happening in Japan. This is not normal. This reminds me a little bit uh, the times when I used to live in communist times. You know, the information was not accessible. But people of Japan were there. They were manifesting. And we have to see it. You have to see it. Please go online and watch the real news. I'm refusing to pay NHK from now. Gathering at the Oi plant to express their opposition to the restart of the reactor. They began assembling near the plant's gate on Saturday evening. The protesters are blocking a road leading to the plant, some using vehicles. Kansai Electric Power says the presence of protesters is making it difficult for workers to enter the site, but it adds that work at the plant has not been affected.